Okay, we're at Facebook Live here at the NAC Monday, Martin Luther King Day, 1.30 in the afternoon. And we're, today we're uh, awarding our $1,000 check to a member, Deanna Ireland, who, uh, who is a, a medical issue that's very, very important that uh, we need to help as not only the NAC, but as club members and the community. And uh, she is not well enough to be here today, but we have Samantha Selinsky, who's her friend here that has uh, taken on a lot of uh, the, the task of trying to help Deanna. And uh, it's just a, such a sad story. And I, you know, I, rather than me talk, why don't, you, why don't you tell everybody that's watching what the heck's going yes. on with Deanna? So um, Deanna was diagnosed with stage 3B um, inflammatory breast cancer at 38 weeks pregnant. Um, this was a almost exactly one year ago. Um, she went in for her 37 week appointment um, with a lump and they ended up getting a biopsy. Um, I still remember her sending me the message saying, don't freak out, it's cancer. And that's Deanna for you. You know, She's worried about how everybody else feels. And, um, and then they induced her at 39 weeks. And one week later after she had Juliana, she um, started her chemo and radiation process um, which was until the beginning of June. <clears throat> um, and then she had to receive a double mastectomy in July. They thought that was kind of going to be the end of everything. But um, unfortunately, the cancer continued because it's so invasive and such a tough cancer to, you know, stop and um, it started spreading again, so she had to do t radiation twice a day for six weeks starting in August. Um, and it just has continued, unfortunately, to spread. She started a new chemo at the end of December. Uh, it's now in stage four cancer. Um, it spread to her bones and to liver mastesis as well, unfortunately. So that's kind of her um, you know, overall story, which has happened within a year, which is crazy for someone who's in their early 30s to have to experience, especially with a newborn um, and a brand new one. Well, she just turned one last week, I think. Um, and just to give a little background, you know, of Deanna, her and I met here at the NAC at um, Bar at the Bar. It was probably like maybe four or five years ago we met. And we've just became so close since then. The knack, you know, was such a big part of her life, exercising. She, her and I would do the dance sweat a lot on Monday nights. Um, she was a big part of group training. And I, I had a daughter the November before her, and I remember we, she was pushing me to get to the, you know, gym a, a week before I was giving birth to my daughter. <laughs> so, you know, mm -hmm. she's just been a great friend. and. Um, I, when I saw this, uh, that the NAC was going to be doing this, I had to nominate her for it. Yeah, Deanna was a member, I think, ten, approximately 10 years, still is. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess, I guess the, the, the thing that's heartbreaking is you imagine having, knowing you're pregnant, having a, a child, and then have that hit you. And this is their first uh, child. And then, yeah. of course, um, she has to contend with that. And... You had said earlier that they were a two-income family, mm -hmm. so she now, now she can't work. So go into that a little bit and talk about the financial problems that yes. occur with that. So when they bought their house, um, when they decided to have a child, they were a two-income family. Um, obviously, with everything happening in the last year, they've had to go down to one income. And while they do have insurance, insurance doesn't cover everything. Um, when I was over there the other week, she was just talking about, um, you know, how her co-pays are starting back up. She's going to the doctors three, four times a week. All of that really adds up. Um, just doing simple things. You know, I, I think about it a lot, just doing simple things that we have disposable income for. You know, she doesn't have that anymore. Um, there's not a lot that she can do right now in regards because of her health, unfortunately, but just simple things. Going grocery shopping is something, you know, everybody needs that and you have a budget when you make this plan and unfortunately this isn't where their plan was directed but is now. 
So the, 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 it's a little girl, right? What's her yes, name? Yes, Juliana. So she's now what, a, young, a year, she year turned old? A, she turned one on uh, last this past Wednesday. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. And being one years old, it's um, obviously she doesn't really know the situation right. at hand, but it's got to be really tough. How about her husband? How's, how's things with him and how's he handling it and um, what's he doing? To so he works overnights um, as a train conductor and so um, I mean, he's just doing just as amazing. The two of them, I have so much, um, like, I look up to them so much. The way that they're handling the whole situation is just, I've never heard either of them complain one time. I mean, it's, it's really wild to me. I tell everybody, I have never heard them complain. I know that they have to have, um, you know, things going on internally, but to have such a front of happiness and they both, you know, I think having Juliana is such a blessing for them while it's so hard um, to keep everything happy for her and keep her life as normal as possible um, is something that they really strive for. They're great parents, and Bob is just doing an incredible job to support Deanna as much as he can with as little sleep as he can and, um, you know, make everything possible for her that he can. Well, I know uh, there's a lot of people that are helping out and doing whatever they can, but at the end of the day, it, 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 situationally, this is never enough, yeah. and pred particularly when you talk about the financial ramifications of all this. Um, you know, tell us about what we can do. I know we're giving $1,000 a day, which is a drop in the bucket. You know, you know the, we have 12,000 NAC members, and, you know, this person is a part of our NAC family. Now, what, what, what can we do? Um, so... Her friend Caroline did start a GoFundMe page, which a lot of people have donated to. We've been sharing it nonstop, um, giving updates. Uh, also, as you had mentioned, they, the members can donate directly to Have a Heart and have that. Um, it is directly earmark. for mm -hmm. earmarked for Deanna. Um, the I have a book on Amazon that I give half of my profits to, 100 Days of Happiness, if anybody wants to contribute that way. Um, those are the main three ways that we would love for people to contribute and just help in any way. I mean, a dollar would help their family out, and they would be so gracious for that as well. Every, any little bit, every, you know, they're just such gracious people for any help and the love that they receive. Yeah, you know, and, and I and what you had said earlier, and I heard this through the grapevine as well, I mean, these are, you know, two people that aren't even, uh, are looking at, at things positively or not um, feeling bitter. I, I hear she's a tremendous fighter, mm -hmm. that she's, you know, upbeat and aren't asking for help. It's friends no. like you <laughs> that are asking for them. So these yeah. aren't people that are uh, uh, whatever you do for them, they, they appreciate because they're not expecting anything. Right. They are, they truly aren't. She's, you know, I've been trying to think of a million ways of what can I do? How can I help you? And she's just like, oh, you know, whatever you can help with. Don't, don't worry about it though. Don't worry. We know you have so much going on with your life. Don't worry about us. And of course I'm worried about, you know, it's, uh, it's only natural. I want to try to help them as much as I possibly can. And there's, it's just a struggle to know you can't fix everything, but something like this, um, you know, the knack doing this for them is a little bit of stress relief for something in, that's so much bigger than um, anything that I've ever experienced. Well, listen, I ho hopefully this, I mean, again, this little bit that we're giving is, is drop in the bucket, but it will create awareness and people will step up and realize, I mean, we're in Pulse where, you know, this is, probably spent a lot of her time, yeah, right, in, we spend in the room here. a lot of time right over there with yeah, <laughs> our spots. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, you know, people I shouldn't, you know, know her. And if they didn't know her, we'll put a picture up as well. Yeah. They'll recognize her. And this is a great opportunity for our community, the NAC people, to yeah. get together and help one of our own. And uh, it's so sad. And th she is in a fight for her life. I mean, yeah. it's a, this, is, this is as serious as it can get. And um, you know, if we can take a little bit of the stress that, that we can help them out financially and raise some money for them, that's probably something that they're all, both her and her husband are concerned at. But, but again, not asking, they're not asking, no. but, we, but we need to step up. So yeah. uh, we'll put the bottom of the, the, this, this video here away that people can, okay. a link for them to, to do, to have a heart and also your, 
Facebook uh, GoFundMe page. Do you have anything else that you wanted to add to, to it? Um, I just am so appreciative of you guys choosing. Um, you know, when I nominated her, I didn't know what would come of it. I just felt like it was something, you know, the knack is such a huge part of my life and of hers. And, you know, it gives a real, that's where the basis of our friendship began. And it's just to have this full circle moment of, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to get teary eyed. Um, your donation means a lot. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a crier, so you don't need to take much <laughs> Sorry. from me. No, I mean, thought yeah. I held it together no, for no, the no, most no. part. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, thank you. It's no. truly um, such a, I feel very blessed for, you You know, belonging to this community and um, that you're so helpful for no. her family. Well, I mean, it's a, the, the, this is what we established <laughs> our foundation for, have a heart. And, you know, uh, truth be told, she probably would have been number one, the first one, but uh, we didn't want to make it look like that we uh, were, you know, taking care of our own first. But she's the third one we've helped out. And uh, in, in my eyes, you know, again, this is so critical and yeah. uh, such a good family and such such a sad story. And uh, let me ha let me give you the here's a th this is just a little check thank you shows it's legitimate. so much you can show her that i know she's so happy <laughs> she's uh in treatment today watching so hey dan and here's the uh, real check thank you there. i'll and, drop it off later and you, for her. Uh, you've got a great heart thank and you she's got a great friend thank you so, We're so lucky to have her yeah. as a friend and so lucky for the neck thank you okay thank you thank Give you, me you. <laughs> thank you okay.